Morning guys, Stagman Mayor, back again. Um, as you can see, fire extinguisher. Um, what I'm going to be doing with this is we're going to empty it. We're going to mark a mark there. We're going to, once it's empty obviously, take the top off. Once it's depressurized, wash it out. We're then going to make a mark there. We're going to drill a hole through it. You can get online um, tire valves. Now these, you can get the chrome special ones that to jazz your wheels up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole big enough to put one of them through. Um, I've had the delivery this morning. I forgot to uh, bring them out. Uh, they're indoors. But we're going to drill a hole. We're then going to put one of them in and we're going to turn this into a reservoir tank for compressed air. Um, I've done about eight or nine of these um, over the course of this year uh, for various people. Um, the idea is that you charge them up on a on a um, tyre inflator, like a 12 volt one that you get for the car. Um, average, you can put about 125 to 200 and uh, 200 pounds per square inch in one of these. I only ever run it at 100. I never need to go more than that. Um, the idea is, once you've, uh, you've you've done it, you've got a trigger there, and you can blow direct air. So if you've got keyboards to com clean out, um, you know, sort of computer stuff to clean out, it's just a, a cheap way, other than going buying a compressor. Um, you can uh, pump one of these up with a hand pump, with a, a, a tyre foot pump, should I say, but that does uh, get a bit monotonous. So what I've done in the past is I use a 12 volt uh, air pump for pumping tyres up, and that's what we're going to do. So bear with me guys, back in a second. Hey, here we are guys, back again. As you can see, mark the spot. Actually put it slightly higher. There's the valve. For the compressor to go on. Obviously the cap. Let's put the cap back on so I don't lose it. Um, ordered, uh, ordered my valves off of a good old auction site. Uh, pack of four, so obviously makes I can make another four. There is the old unit out of there. CO2 bottle or compressed air bottle, can't remember what goes in that one, I think it's actually CO2. Siphoning pipe, oh, they always stay on there. Use upright, this is why, so they can, the water expands at the top of the, the bottle here, forcing, sorry, the water, the air expands, forcing the water or the liquid down. Um, but there we go. So, uh, Another, another thing to do. Um, you can make rocket stoves out of these. Um, I might actually do one, to be fair. <clears throat> After seeing yours, Bill, I, uh, I actually uh, quite fancy having a go at knocking one up out of it. But uh, this is what I do with the. With them. You know, it's just, just a handy thing to have. Um, it, it's got many uses for blowing stuff around the garden, you know, if you've got a, a fire you need to put air in the bottom of, I'd use that as well, but uh, there you go guys, I would uh, would charge it for you and get it running, but the wife is out with the car at the moment and uh, my compressor, my little tyre compressor is in the back of the car, so uh, I shall... Uh, I shall charge it later. <laughs> 